This 45 foot luxury motorhome behind me is a Newell. Now it doesn't have a specific model name because these are all custom built. If you wanted to order one new from the factory in Oklahoma, it'd probably start around $2 million and go up from there. Now we're gonna take a full tour of this Newell and show you what it's all about. Now this is our friend's motor coach and they've been generous enough to let us borrow it for the afternoon. No, we don't th get to take it out camping, but hey, we get to go through it and look at all the different features. This motor coach is 45 feet, eight inches long. Not only is it custom built, but Newell also custom builds all their chassis in house. So this has a ladder frame chassis and then the sides of the motor coach are all aluminum. Starting at the back, this has a Cummins ISX engine with a heavy duty alternator and a bunch of other goodies. The tow hitch on here is rated for 25,000 pounds, so you can tow just about anything. And the motor coach itself weighs in around 63,000 pounds. Now, as you can imagine, with a $2 million motor coach, there is a lot going on. So I'm just gonna try and hit some of the highlights or the things we think are interesting, but that it doesn't even start to scratch the surface of this thing. Shore power, interesting feature here is it has a buddy plug. So if you're traveling with someone, they can plug into your motor coach and either run off of shore power or the built-in generator, which I'll show you in a minute. You have a tag axle on this and one nice feature with this is the tag actually turns. So for something so large, you actually have a very tight turning radius because this wheel will turn you can also adjust how much weight you put on the wheel. There are awnings on both sides. They come out and over, they're called patio awnings. This is where the fuel fill is on this side. It has dual fuel fill, so there's one on the other side. The feature I like here is there's a camera. So as you're pulling up to the pump, you can turn on the camera and make sure that you don't over or undershoot the pump. This is a storage bay, and then here, is the electrical bay. It's got dual inverters, 2,800 watts each for a total of 5,600. But one thing I love about these bay doors is how they hinge like this. So just pull down, push in, there you go. This is the wet bay. What I like about this is how clean everything is. These are all the valves for everything inside, push button controls, outdoor water if you want to wash your dog or something like that. There is a retractable hose, another hose bib. There's your sewer out. In here is your water pump and all your lines. A nice thing they've done here is everything under here is heated. So there is a heater that you can turn on, you can set the temperature. So even if you're camping in really cold weather, you don't have to worry about your pipes freezing. Now up front, one thing Newell is known for is their front cap. This is actually all glass. And the reason for that is rock chips in that. If you happen to chip the glass or even break it, it's less expensive to replace the glass than it is to repaint the front end. Under here is also the 20 kilowatt diesel generator. It's in a quiet box, so you don't hear very much. And it's also on shocks, so it's not vibrating the coach. Now on the passenger side in this bay is the outdoor grill. Along with more storage. A nice thing with this is it's on a power slide operated with remote. Since the coach is all electric, this is an electric grill. So you're able to cook outside. Lots of storage under here. And then when you're ready to put it back in, very easy. These are fully customizable. So if you wanted, say an outdoor kitchen or just storage, something else in here, you could do that. This coach has four slides and then a mid entry door. The door is pneumatically operated. Let me 
take off my shoes before going inside. And we're in. Okay, close the door. Wrong door. There are a lot of buttons in here. Let's see. Uh, I actually don't know how to close the door. I should have asked more questions. Let's see, it's probably down here. Entry door. Let's see if that works. Nope. Oh, here we go. Found it. Hey, did it. Okay. There is a lot to get used to inside this coach. I'm sure when they got their walkthrough, they probably spent days, not hours. Okay. Now, one thing I do know how to do is there's a cover that goes over the steps. You don't actually fall down if you're walking around. But here we are. We're in the center of the RV. I'm going to start up front and then we can work our way back. So here's the driver's compartment. As you'll notice, there are no actual physical gauges. It's all done on a flat screen. GPS controls for the front screens and various other things. This screen here is actually a touchpad and you can control pretty much everything in the coach. There's the automatic leveling system and it's done through the airbags on each wheel. Flat screen TV with surround sound. You have three front speakers and then two back in the living room area. And as part of the living room, these two chairs will turn around and you can sit and have even more people in here. But if it's just two of you, there's already plenty of room. If you do have guests coming over, the couch does convert into a bed. There is the lazy boy type chair here. That is, you can pull that out and move it wherever you want. And there is a hideaway TV. If I push that button, the TV will lift up and out. Well, so far we have the, there's an outdoor TV I didn't show everybody. There's this TV, the one up front and there are a few more in here. So plenty of TVs. As you move forward, one thing I'm noticing because I have my socks on is the radiant heating in here. So the floors are nice and warm and that's what keeps everything hot. But on the roof, there are four AC units to keep this nice and cool. Now when those AC units are running, it's very quiet and you can barely hear anything in here. This thing is so well insulated. They use spray foam insulation and you really can't hear much outside. One thing I do love about this are the number of windows. If you're sitting here on the couch, you have your TV, but when the TV's down, you have this kind of panoramic view. Uh, for dinner, we're just hanging out. There is a dinette. Now this dinette, you could probably seat four people, but an interesting feature is that the dinette will slide out and you can add extra seating here. Let's see if I can figure out which button it is. Oh, uh, let's see here. Position. Okay, the button might be over here. Let's see here. Oh, here we go. Found it. There we go. So I'm not going to bring it out all the way, but you get the idea. Now, there is plenty of lighting in here. There are little hidden lights throughout the ceiling, LED lighting. There's actually lighting in the countertop itself. And speaking of the kitchen, you have a nice size sink, drinking water, cabinets, microwave, induction stove top. This is their dishwasher. Pantry that pulls out, built-in coffee maker, another control station for the motor home, or motor coach, excuse me more storage and a full size refrigerator and dual slide out freezer. There is lighting underneath all the cabinets and let me show you the party lighting. If you check out the window, let's see if I can remember. Oh, here we go. Red, 
screen. I mean, come on, why not? If you're in here having a party with your friends, whatever color you love, pick your fancy. One very unique feature about the Newell is that they can keep most of the floor in here on one level. When you get to the bathroom, there is a step up and below the bathroom is where the engine is. Now, the way they're able to accomplish that with the slides is that this section here and this section here will actually drop six inches the slides come in and then they line up right along this part, which means there's about a person's width through the center where you can walk to the back, get to the kitchen, go into the powder room, which I'll show you in a second, the refrigerator, bedroom, and then into the back bath if you had to with the slides in. Now, what does a powder room look like in a $2 million motor coach? Let's see. Well, first off, you have a full-size residential toilet. This is nice because sometimes those RV toilets can be a little small. I really like kind of the backsplash they have in here. There's a window. I mean, it just, everything looks very nice. I love all the rounded edges. There's really no like hard edge on any of these things. Cool little sink. And another feature I like is the fan. So they have this cover over it to kind of make it meld into the rest of the bathroom. And these doors are all solid. Okay, let's head into the master bedroom. Here we are in the master bedroom. Before I start showing you around, there is an iPad. And with this, like the other touch screens, you can control all the aspects of the motor coach. Now I have it set to the bedroom. So let's see, where do we want to start? We'll start with the bed. So this is a full size king bed and there's a storage area underneath. Put that back down. Now we we're talking about TVs, right? Well, if you look that direction, there's another hidden TV here. There are surround sound speakers, three up front, two in the back. You also get the cool window accents. So we can turn on the party lights in here. And if you're laying in bed and you just don't wanna be bothered to have to sit up and look at the TV, there's a TV under there too. Oh man, I think we're up to four, no, five TVs in here now. And if you want to seal yourself off from the rest of the RV, there's actually the pocket door that I accidentally closed earlier. Say hi, Kate. There's actually a full length mirror so you can see what you look like before you go out for the evening. Let me open that back up. That's just so cool. I think that's my favorite feature. That kind of reminds me of the old like sci-fi movies where the doors would open and close. All right, well, I mean, it's just cool. It, I like the dark accents in here. I love all the lighting. I just think it looks awesome. And again, everything is rounded, so it feels very smooth. All right, what do you say we move into the bathroom? So here's the bathroom. I'm gonna shut Kate out. Bye, Kate. I love this little iPad thing. This is cool. Actually, you know what? As long as you're filming, let me show you. So here are all the controls. And so right now we're in the bedroom. We're stepping into the bathroom. So those are the controls for the bathroom. First things first. careful because I don't want to break anything on this RV or motor coach. This is a stacked washer and dryer. Across from the washer and dryer, you've got the shower. Nice size shower. 
Everything in here is tiled as well as the floor. And you've got an adjustable height shower head. Another residential style toilet, tiled floors with accent lighting. You have your whole sink over here and check this out. Look inside the sink. It kind of glitters. That's really cool. And then I think we found our last TV. So if you look at the mirror here, let me see if I can figure out how to work this. There we go. It's not hooked up to anything at the moment. So if you're in here using the toilet, you can sit there, watch TV, or even watch TV from the shower. So we've got a total of six TVs in this thing. Wow. Move back into the rest of the coach. Now this is a very unique motor coach because it's customizable. When a person orders this, they can put on whatever options they choose that are offered by Newell. Now, one thing in the comments that I would love to know from all of you is what one thing would you want in your motor coach if you had something like this that would make it stand out from the rest? I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. But anyway, that's the end of the tour. I hope you guys find this kind of as amazing as we do. We think this is a very unique, very cool looking rig. Anyway, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to see more cool content, head on over to our website at worthyrussos.com and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.